We have spent the last eight months and over $25,000 trying to build our dream mini bike and launch Mantini motors. But in order to do so, we needed to build a prototype. That meant finding a machine shop who has the right equipment and experience to bring our vision to life. Although it took over two months, we finally secured a shop, but we quickly hit a wall. I just got an email from the shop. They said, um the frame's not gonna work. What do you mean it's not gonna work? So I went back to the drawing board, made some updates, and today I'm at the shop to see if the new design will actually work. Let's go find out. Tom? I just heard some activity. <laughs> yeah, I am Tom. You're Sam? Yeah, Sam, yeah. Come on in. You got quite a setup here. Now, before we sat down and talked about the design, Tom wanted to show me his shop to see all of the equipment he'll be using to build our bikes. Turn of the century technology, oh, that's yeah. called a Haasfeld bender. It's an old Canadian roll-in saw, fine as uh, German grinder. Side that is a time saver. That one is uh, built in Stuttgart, where the porches are. No uh, way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a CNC bender for okay. doing that. For doing the tubing. And so you're saying with this machine, you could do up to 100 frames realistically if you needed to in a day? Yeah. That's. I mean, you, you could bend them. Yeah, I bend mean, them, could, not welding and all that. No, yeah, no, 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 I understand. Every tool opens up so many new doors. It's a disease. It is, for sure, but it's a, it's a productive disease. As Tom kept showing me more and more of his equipment, my excitement for building our bikes kept growing. So we headed back to his office to figure out the changes we needed to make to turn our dream into a reality. So that's my swing arm over top of your swing arm. The reason for that is that um, it's too short in here. Your bend is too short. It is too short, okay. So I need more. So basically all I did was just extend that out okay. and bring it back down. It all ends at the same place. Perfect. After some discussion about a couple details on the new design, I finally had to ask Tom the question. I guess my main question is looking at that new design, you obviously re had to remake it in SolidWorks. I did. And so everything though looks, looks good? Um, yeah, like I said, my, I'm sort of at a standstill. I mean, I've done things like, that's the, that's the program for the, um, the, the, for the bender, but we can't really go any farther until we get the parts. Okay, so I'll get, so I'll get, get the parts. On. Okay. All right. Okay. Eager to keep things moving, I raced home to jump on GoPowerSports.com with my dad so that we could build out the best parts kit for the MBK1 prototypes. But then we had an idea. What if I reach out to Go Power Sports and see if they're willing to do a collaboration? Like if somebody buys our frame, they literally could just go to Go Power Sports, order, and then they have everything they need to build their bike. Yeah, well, that'd be great. Okay, okay, before I press checkout, then let me see. Yeah, yeah. Email. So the only thing, once we figure out which sprocket works the best, but then again, it depends what kind of motor they're putting on. We need a motor though. Okay, so we have a bunch of 208s. 208s? Well, that's too small. And then let's see what this one is. This one is uh, 212. 212. So we have a 212, 208. Then we got the GX160, which is the baby. Yeah, that's no, too small. I mean, I think it's got to be one of these. The 270 or the 420. Okay, but I have an idea. Okay. A lot of people are online are saying that they want to put something bigger, like a V-twin. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. Harbor Freight Tools has one in stock. So we grabbed our passports, drove two hours, and crossed the border. I called them and they said they do have one. And I said, can you hold it? And they said, no, because they don't do that, which I don't know why. But they also kept saying, there's a very unlikely chance that somebody will come in and buy it. If not one, we'll go to the next store and get that one. Maybe we should buy more than one. Hmm, we both wanna... want to have a bike. How can yours, mine's going to be faster than yours? Oh. Or is this going in your bike? Whose bike is this going in? Doesn't matter. I think it'd be better in your bike. You, I think you need the extra horsepower. To, <laughs> yeah, to move, to move my weight around. Yeah. All right, we officially made it to Harbor Freight Tools. Gonna grab the 670. Yep. The biggest concern I have right now is, will it even fit in the car? I'm hoping <laughs> that it will, but we don't know if it comes in a box. We don't know if it comes out of a box. We'll get it one way or another. I'm assuming it's somewhere here. They said aisle five, actually. That way. I remember now it was on the website. Predator. I don't see no motor. Keep going. I think the guy, the guy fished us in. Oh, there it is. Holy crap. But, oh my gosh, they have it. It's going to be fun to play with. There's no gas tank. No. I'm going to have to paint this to match. 
these are all the motors that they have and typically what people do the most common one is this one right here this is the predator 212 and this is what most people will put in their mini bikes and so you get 212 cc i think it's about how much horsepower is it 6.5 horsepower and then some people do upgrade you know there's these ones here which are meant for more performance this one here is more for racing and then you can add some things to it but as you can see they're all relatively small but then we're gonna go with the big guy right here because I think it's gonna be I mean this one's nice too 459 but we already have so we already have a 420 at home and so we don't need to go with this one we're gonna go with that one so I guess you take this this is probably I guess just display only and then they probably have it in the back which means it okay, probably so will come in a box how do we get this plate well we can that's not hard that's just sheet metal yeah, you I just know, cut it. It's, uh, you sure they don't sell that plate? I don't know, I'd have to ask. I doubt it, though. Huh. Be nice. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. We're going to need the frame for sure. Then we got to fit it under there and see what has to come off. These also we're going to have to make. Wow, oh, this is pretty cool, man. He's getting it. Really? Yeah. So they have more than one, then? Well, maybe display they just don't ever yeah. sell. So maybe there's just one in the back. That's probably why they're strapped down. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, okay, that's a big box. I don't know if that will fit. Hopefully. We might have to take it out of the box. <laughs> Dad. Yeah? It's a big box. Where is it? It's behind the cash register. <laughs> wow. I think it'll fit. We don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Yeah. Everything out of there, I hope. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to... No, I don't know, man. I, I Visually, I can tell that this is too tall for this. Okay. Do you think it would fit through there? Uh, I don't know, man. I'd say we just take it out. <laughs> okay, so I think we better put this on the ground now. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. You're coming home whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh, there's a piece of wood. Oh, crap. What are we doing? I don't know. It's an expensive try, Sam. This motor right here, first and foremost, isn't even available in Canada. And an equivalent motor would be like the Honda, but the Honda sells for about 3,000. Now it is Honda. Their motors are better, they'll last longer, but it's more industrial. And so for us, for a thousand bucks, us about 1300 canadian we got a great motor that we can now use test and make sure that when we claim that our bike can fit a 670 cc we can actually say it does because we're going to put it in our bike and we're going to make sure and test it and see what parts we need in order to use it this way here when people ask yeah buy this motor and then here's all the parts that we recommend in order to uh to build it out so well it's not that heavy uh, well i think no that end has to go in first yeah because i think that would hit the door no i wonder if we have to go the other way first. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay. There you go. Oh. Well, that's a relief. That's in there. Now we just got to take care of this garbage, which hopefully they'll take. And uh, or just find out where their bin is. Yeah, we'll figure out. Either way, we'll get rid of the garbage. It's actually hilarious to see a gas engine in here. <laughs> no? Yeah. With the motor secured, we made our way back home. But while we were driving. I got an email from Go Power Sports and they want to jump on a call today. Yes, what? Hey, Sam. Hey, how's it going, guys? Now, for confidentiality reasons, I can't necessarily share the call. However, I can share my reaction after the call. Take care. If you want to find out what Go Power Sports said and if the 670 will fit in our frame, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll show you next week. See you then.